do-it-yourself energy storage. Is it worth the risk? And how did one of these systems reduce a home in Germany to rubble? What is energy storage? Well, essentially, it's a large battery or a grouping of batteries. Typically, you'll find these installations near substations. You might not even know they're there. What they'll do is during peak demand hours, these energy storage systems will dump energy into the grid. That will help reduce the load on the generation. When demand's low, they'll charge these back up and they'll be ready for the next day. Now, there are some risks and there have been a number of fires across the world involving these energy storage systems. Even one in the last couple of years in Northern Michigan. The most devastating to this point happened in Surprise, Arizona. While fire crews were operating on scene, there was an explosion sending four members through a chain link fence about 75 feet away from the unit, much like an explosion in the Hollywood movies. All four members lost consciousness. Luckily, they survived, but it was a catastrophic failure. Now, these types of setups have become very common in residential homes. Typically tied with solar, they allow the home to have a battery backup. If you lose grid power, they can power your home. If you look at the base setup for these systems, essentially you have solar panels. They create DC power. There's an inverter tied into the system that allows AC power to flow into the system of the house. You also have this power bank or battery backup. This thing will store DC power. It has an inverter built in and it can dump AC power into the house as well. Now, if the system's set up properly and you lose power from the home, this transfer switch will essentially shut off power to the grid, allowing the home to be self-contained. When it detects power back from the grid, it'll turn on and everything will work in unison. Now there's a number of different ways these systems can be set up and the electrical codes are barely keeping up with technology. In fact, there's a number of states across the country that are still on older electrical codes where all these systems, it's completely silent. There's no mention of these types of systems because these types of systems really didn't exist. Solar has been around forever and it really depends on when the solar was installed in the home. A lot of people do these do-it-yourself systems out there. They do do-it-yourself solar. And for years, they've had battery backups consisting of lead-acid batteries. Not a very effective system. It didn't work very well. But with these lithium-ion batteries, it's becoming very efficient, and you can easily power a whole house with lithium-ion batteries if you get enough power. There's a number of these systems out on the market, and Tesla's Powerwall is probably the most well-known. But multiple companies make these types of systems. Generic, for example, they do a lot of installations here in Michigan. There's portable units out there too. This right here is from EcoFlow, it's 3,500 watts. However, it's expandable. And once you expand this unit out fully, you get all the additional modules, units that go with it, you can get all the way up to 25 kilowatts. This system can be tied into your house, be a battery backup for your home. And depending on how it's stored in the house, that could cause a real issue for fire departments or the homeowner if these types of units fail in the basement of a house. Now the plus side, these systems that you purchase, if installed properly, they should have proper designs, engineering controls, BMS, battery management systems on board. Everything should be safe. In fact, when you start talking about batteries like the Powerwall or Generax battery or any large battery backup purchased for a home, it should go through full scale fire testing. And that involves making sure the fire, if there's a fire inside that unit, it stays inside that unit. It doesn't set the exposures on fire if there's a failure. Now, if these are installed properly, they should not be in the basement of a home. That's because if you have fire in the basement of the home, it can cause major issues. For example, this explosion that happened in Germany. This explosion happened in October of 2023, and you can see it did significant damage to the house. Now, this was a commercial unit. It did have LFP, or lithium iron phosphate batteries. And what happens when lithium iron phosphate batteries fail is they emit significant amounts of hydrogen gas flammable gases. You build that gas up inside of a structure like this, you already have the heat source, and then you have a massive explosion. There's a significant amount of damage to this building, and luckily nobody was killed when this incident happened, only minor injuries. 
Home-built systems can be extremely dangerous, and you see plans for these on YouTube all over the internet. For example, this one right here, where they're using used Tesla battery modules with 18650 batteries to build a battery backup for the home. This is not safe at all. You don't have the thermal management. You don't have the proper battery management system, the proper electronics involved in order to charge and discharge these batteries. This is just asking for a failure. On top of that, you have no fireproof container around the unit itself. One of these home-built systems just recently failed in northern Michigan, and you can see here the battery racks this person built in their garage. The fire department stripped all these battery modules out with cylindrical cells out of the unit. Thankfully, this was in their garage when it caught fire, because had this been in the basement of a home, that could cause major issues. Again, you're missing a big part of the system when you don't have those electronics, you don't have that protective case, you don't have the engineering controls, the UL testing to make sure that everything's going to work properly and keep you safe if there's a fire. Think about this in the garage if there is a failure. This goes back to some UL FSRI testing where they blew a garage door off a garage. They were simulating an energy storage system when this happened. Again, I'll reiterate how important it is to use reliable, tested components that were designed as a system and tested as a system. Very important for safety, very important to make sure these units will survive the test of time. If you'd like to learn more about lithium iron phosphate batteries, LFP, click this link right here.